Hi guys, it's Leaky and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leaky and I review a lot of activers, so if you enjoy that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today I'm reviewing a new brand for me, obviously, they're not like a super new, new, new brand, but for me they are new. I've never tried them before. I'd seen them on Instagram a few times, mainly for seamless stuff, but I wasn't too you know, too into it, I don't know. And then recently I stumbled upon them again. They had a 50% off their entire stuff on their website and I was like, eh, okay, I might as well just give them a try. They are an Australian based brand and I'm talking about Rider Wear. So I don't know, maybe you've been trying them before. I mean, they've been around for quite a while. I think they were founded in 2009 and yes, they're Australian based, but I do think my stuff shipped from a UK, UK warehouse. I still don't know, I don't know why people still have UK warehouses when the UK has exited the EU a while ago already. And, you know, that basically means they have to make sure that either the duties and taxes for shipping to the EU are prepaid or you as a customer have to pay them, which makes it a little bit less attractive as well. But anyway, I think this came from their UK warehouse. Uh, at least with them, taxes and duties are prepaid. You can see the stuff in your own currency. And I think shipping was actually free and returns are also simple. They're not free, but they're not super expensive depending on which European country you live in. So that's all plus points. And like I said, they had 50% off their entire website when I checked it out and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna grab a whole bunch of stuff so I can show you a whole bunch of stuff. And we have a really, really big writer review coming today. So sit down, relax and, um, let me talk about it. <laughs> I got a few different colors, a few different pieces, just a little bit here and there to kind of try out what they have and if I like them. And yeah, let's start with the first piece. I was kind of excited when I saw this. I'm not a big animal print lover, but this one was kind of cute. So this is the Unstoppable Lounge Bra. I think the Unstoppable collection was their newest launch or something. And yeah, this is the Unstoppable Lounge Bra and Maka Zebra. Um, quick heads up, I am a size small with my top, so I, I got all the tops in a size small and type a size medium with the bottoms. Uh, not size medium with the bottoms generally, but I'm in between size small and medium. So if I try a new brand, I usually go for a size medium because it's always better for something to fit too big than for it to not fit because it's too tight. So yeah, you will see mainly size small tops and size medium bottoms. I'll let you know if something is different, but that's what we're dealing with. Anyway. Back to the sports bra. I mean, they call it a lounge bra. I can see that maybe, you know, there's no removable cup pads in here. It's not a ton of coverage. It's a short line sports bra for sure. We have some little scooping here in the front, uh, a very low neckline here. I do like the print. I like the colors. I'm not a brown fan e like either, but I like the colors. I like how, how it works together. Thick straps that are not adjustable. They're a little stretchy though. And then in the back, it's just also very, very minimal. You do have a little writer wear logo here in the back, but it's not super obvious because of the print. And yeah, inside is lined with a lighter brown here, but not the peach color. Interesting. I feel like they could have slipped some cup hats in there just for good measure, but that's okay. Uh, the fabric is a little rough. It's not what I expected. For a lounge bra, I would expect it to be like super soft, super brushed, very cozy, but it's more of a cotton fabric. I don't know if you can see it, but it's definitely not that soft. Um, yeah, but anyway, let's see it on. Okay, I think this is a cute outfit and I wish I liked the pieces a little more because I think it looks cute, but let's talk about the sports bra. So I'm usually not a big fan of animal prints. This one though, with the colors, I think is kind of cute. We have a very low neck here though, and I don't have a big chest, but my boobs get squeezed out of this sports bra. Uh, I'm normally a size small. This is a size small. I don't know if sizing up would help because you still, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. Then I feel like it would be too big in other places. Fits quite nicely down here. You have this slight uh, scoop here under the boobs as well. So kind of to, you know, accentuate things a little bit. It's more of a true length sports bra, but yeah, the squeezing out of the boobs here, I am not a fan. And again, I don't have a big chest, so this is a little weird. You get uh, definitely some cleavage here. If you had bigger boobs, I don't think the boobs would fit. We have thick straps. Straps are cutting in a little bit into the armpit fat here, but it's fine. They're not adjustable up and down straps. And then the back is just very, very simple. You have a Rider Wear logo there somewhere in the middle, but it's kind of in the same color as the print. 
So I think it's in this lighter peach color. So it's not super obvious because the print is a little bit wild. I do like the colors they used for this print. You do have some darker brown, some lighter brown, and then this peach color that I also have in the leggings here. And it works well together. I'm usually not a big fan of browns, but I can get behind this because I do like the peach colors as well. But yeah, I wish this wouldn't squeeze me out so much, you know, out of the cups. I don't mind a low cut or a low, like, low coverage kind of sports bra because I don't usually need that much coverage to get the support, but this is a little squeezy. The fabric is also very, very cottony, not super performancey, kind of a little rough if you touch it. Against the skin, it's fine, but it's not like the softest fabric for sure. It's definitely not soft. So that's also a little bit unfortunate because I think otherwise I might have considered keeping it. So yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Support wise, I would say it's a light to medium support. And yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna fall out, I think. You kind of have to adjust the nipples a little bit, you know, to make sure they're not kind of close to the low cleavage here. And I mean, then you'll be fine, I think. But again, definitely low, low coverage, more of an A cup, small B cup bra, but otherwise everything above that, I would not buy this because yeah, it just, it would just squeeze you out too much and it would not fit. It would expose your boobs, basically. But yeah, I think it's a cute look. I wish it fit a little bit better. I wish the fabric was softer. And that's it. All right, I also didn't mention it, but I think because I got so many pieces, it's probably best to go through tops first and then bottoms last. So if you're interested in just leggings, you can you know, look, the, look at the timestamps down below in the description box and just click your way through to what you want to see, just in case <laughs> you don't want to see all of it. And that's absolutely fine. That's why I have the timestamps down in the description box. But yes, next sports bra, we have the Unstoppable Sports Bra in just co the color black. This one is hard to hold up, okay? <laughs> um, it's also kind of confusing. Like, where does your head go? Like, what? Anyway, <laughs> let's just do it like this for now. You do have a little keyhole moment here in the front. Removable cup pads in this one though, not like the sports bra before. It is, again, a more cotton feel, like a little bit rougher, not super performancey. This, the main fabric is nylon, elast, and elastane. And the lining is polyester and elastane. Lining feels better than the outside fabric, if you ask me. But yeah, it's just a little too rough for me. We do have a, a an elastic band under the chest here. So this hopefully also gives a little bit more support. You do have a little tone and tone right away logo here at the back. I like the more discreet logos like this. I think it's nice. Their logo also looks kind of fun. You know, it's not, it's not super bad. It's, you know, it's kind of fun. And then, yeah, the, the, the weird thing about this one is so we have two straps, but then you have a knot. So that's okay. Cause that's kind of like holding the keyhole together. Then you have the two straps again and a knot. Straps or not, straps. So I assume your head has to go through this hole, but it doesn't look very big, does it? Like, I don't know. It's not, it's not, it's not very big. Ugh. Ooh, but you can kind of adjust this. Oh, I see, you can kind of adjust this knot. Okay, that's good to know. I'll probably just leave it at something and then try it on. But good to know, then you can kind of adjust it. Okay. Um, yes, I expect this to be a little bit more high support than the first sports bra. It, it, it looks cute, it looks a little different than what I've seen before. I can't imagine it being super supportive though, because of the strap situation. But let's see it on. All right, this bra is quite interesting, but I'm not sure if it's the most comfortable thing ever. I think it looks better than it feels. You basically have this tiny hole where you could, you know, show off some cleavage if you wanted to. We have this hole that goes around your neck and then you have another little bit of a you know hole between the two strings there and i think they're all the same size so this is the same size as what your head needs to go through <laughs> and this is the same size that they're just like stretched in different ways so i found it quite difficult to a figure out how to put it on and b get my head through this um, and I think it kind of causes a little bit of tightness around here. So if you're not a big fan of that, then maybe this is not your sports bra. And it's not giving you a ton of support. So yeah, it's more of a short line sports bra anyway. So you don't have super much coverage. The bit, you know, 
the little keyhole here. If you have bigger boobs, you could show off some cleavage there. For me, it doesn't do very much. But also, if you have bigger boobs, this is probably going to kill you. So, yeah. A little bit difficult support-wise. Definitely more of a light support. And like I said, I mean, basically everything kind of rests on your neck here and on your collarbones and a little bit here in the back as well. It doesn't cut into the traps as much because it kind of just gets right into your throat there. <laughs> so there's that. And like I said, the way it looks, I think it's cute. I like it, how, how minimalistic it is in the back. There's really just like that little knot there. And then you have a little bit uh, of the strap situation here. And it's just very, you know, free. You can move. It's all good, and I like how it looks in the front. It's just, I don't know if I can if I can wear this without feeling like I'm getting choked all the time. Like, it's really just cutting in up here, and it bothers me a lot. And I'm very, very sensitive when it comes to things like that. I also don't like to wear turtlenecks and anything that kind of gets really high up there because it just annoys me and irritates me. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it looks cute, but it's I, I would not wear this for any intense activities no jumping no running maybe just as a going out top kind of thing i could see that maybe but all in all it's not really super functional it looks cute fabric wise this is also like more of a rougher cottony feeling fabric so not super sleek not brush not super soft not very performancey so just keep that in mind yeah, and that's kind of what I have to say about this one. All right, next up, the Momentum Tank Bra in the color clay. I would consider this more of a crop top with a built-in sports bra or a built-in shelf bra than a bra itself. But I mean, they call it a tank bra, okay. So we have high neck coverage here. Then you do have just a bit of fabric here. Outside fabric is a little bit softer maybe than the first two sports bras, but not super soft either, but definitely a little bit different. And then in the back, actually these two straps split up, of course, and we do have a little bit of adjustability here because you can adjust them. Then on the inside, you do have your built-in shelf bra here, not with mesh. Usually they make it with mesh, but this is actually a solid fabric. Removable cup pads here, cup pads here and elastic underneath. And this way you also don't need to wear anything under this tank. Not sure how supportive it's gonna be uh, because it's a shelf bra, but for my small chest, usually it's fine. Again, tone and tone right over logo here in the back. And let's just see it on. All right, this top is more of a crop top with a built-in sports bra or a built-in shelf bra. We do have a high neck here, thin spaghetti strap, so you can actually adjust in the back. So you just have, in the back it looks like up and down straps, but they basically just come in here and then you can adjust them. Um, you do have a high neck coverage because of that. This here doesn't cut in as much as that, as that black sports bra did. It's not quite as tight and constricting. You do have no armpit coverage here. Also, I would say it's probably low side boob coverage if you need it, just so you know. And then you have basically this piece of fabric and then your shelf bra with removable cup pads and elastic here underneath. And this is not mesh, it's like a thinner fabric, but still feels, you know, a little bit more breathable, but not the normal mesh you usually see on these. It is a little bit short um, for what I usually expect from these type of crop tops. So in case, you know, you have a short toe, so this might be a good choice. Cause yeah, I still have a little bit more space between my legging waistband and the top than I usually do with these type of uh, crop tops. And the back is very, very simple. So the shelf bar goes all the way around. So you still see that elastic here in the back, but all in all, it's very, very simple. You have the adjustability there. So it's more the, the front that's interesting with this one. Support wise, I would say still light to medium su support. So, so far, we haven't seen anything super supportive. For my small chest, it's usually fine. I do tend to, I tend to not wear these type of tops for intense activities anyway, because I still feel like even though this is not cutting into my throat extremely, I still feel a little uncomfortable with it. And I necessarily, you know, wouldn't want to wear that during 
an intense workout when I want to focus on other things, then, oh my God, my sports bra is suffocating me. So yeah, there's that. Um, the fabric, the outer fabric is again, a bit more cottony than I expected, a little bit more rough. So not the softest, not sleek, not brushed. It's just not the greatest fabric all in all. Um, the fabrics that so far haven't really convinced me too much. I kind of expect a little bit something more um, than just the normal like cotton rough material. So it's a little weird, but you know, whatever. Maybe some people do like this fabric. Maybe you don't like it when it's too soft or something. You want a little bit more structure. But for me, most of the stuff has been so like really just cotton-esque so far. And I don't know. But this one, I feel like you could fit some larger boobs in here as well. But be, keep in mind that the side boob coverage is going to get worse and worse the more you you have in here in the front because it's going to take away from the fabric. So still not big boob friendly. And yeah. All right, next up, the Naked Arch Sports Bra in baby blue what a pretty color it changed from what we've seen before with the earth tones but this is a really pretty color and uh, this one is definitely a different fabric so this is this naked fabric very soft slightly brushed i think this is what i want this this is nice and soft like not the softest ever but nice and soft we have kind of good coverage here scoop neck removable cup hats thick straps and then you have a little bit of a racer back here Pretty wide racer back, a keyhole moment. And then this whole bottom layer, this whole bottom here is a thick elastic. So this should keep you tucked in. This should be more of a high support sports bra. I'm quite curious to see if it actually is. But the fabric feels so much better than what we've seen before. And the color is so pretty. This time though, we have a little bit of a different logo situation. So you have the same logo we've seen before here in the front now. And then in the back, it says rider wear here. Not the biggest fan of that. Again, it's tone and tone though, so it's fine. And let's just see it on. All right, this bra feels like it's gonna be our very first high support sports bra, maybe just medium, but definitely a higher support than the last few sports bras have been. So let's test it. Yeah, solid high support for me. Wow, okay, but I already felt that when I was trying it on, it felt like very different. You can also see it has a lot more coverage on the sides, on the top. So not a lot of cleavage and it has a very thick elastic under your chest to keep you tucked in. So all of this here is an elastic. It's not like a normal fabric band that you'd sometimes have with the long line sports bras. No, this is a full on elastic keeping you tucked in here. In the back, you do have a little bit of a keyhole moment. And of course, if you are prone to back fit spillage, there might be some spillage here because of that elastic here, but I mean, honestly, who cares? And you do have a racer back here as well, thicker straps kind of cutting across your trap and it's not super annoying, feels quite good actually. It's just, of course, the elastic is a little tight around the rib cage. So if you usually have tightness around here with sports bras, I would definitely suggest to size up for this one. Um, but yeah, it is a high support sports bra, it keeps you tucked in. Again, I can show you that there's really nothing much showing with my small chest here, but there's definitely also enough space to keep uh, a bigger chest in there. You might spill out a little bit more up here, but yeah, all in all, good coverage, good support. And the fabric is soft. Yes. <laughs> so this one is a lot softer, a lot sleeker. Definitely less structured, less cottony. This feels like I want to work out in it. So that is good, a plus. We do have our little tone and tone right over logo here. And there might also be something in the bag. I'm not sure, can't really see it right now. But yeah, we have it here covered by the microphone partially. And it's really a bit more tonal. It's not super in your face, which is good. I don't like that with the in your face logos. And yeah, it's quite long as well. Kind of counts as a crop top. <laughs> this might actually be uh, longer than the crop top I showed you that was kind of going up here. Um, and yeah, definitely more support and the fabric feels a thousand times better. I wish all the other pieces would have been in a similar fabric like this. All right, one last sports bra. We have the Momentum V-neck sports bra in the color lavender. 
And this one is super cute. I like the color a lot. Unfortunately, oops, it's inside out. Unfortunately, exactly. <laughs> so this is this is the right way around. Um, unfortunately, it's again like more this rough fabric. It looks soft, but then it's not. Like it's just cottony, and it's not the fabric I want. I want the naked fabric. Apparently, we have a deep like a V here. I mean, it's not too deep. It's fine. Removal cup pads. Your Rider Wear logo here in the front two thick straps and then this strap on one side actually splits up into two straps and in the back you just have these straps crisscrossing so it's a little bit of an asymmetrical look and yeah it doesn't say rider wear anywhere so they just have that logo on here which is also fine removable cup pads and then also the elastic underneath this elastic is not as what as wide as it is on the baby blue bra so it's definitely going to be a little bit less supportive also because you have less coverage here but i think the color is still cute let's see it on all right, and we're back to that more cottony, not so soft feeling fabric with this sports bra, which is unfortunate again, because I do like how the sports bra fit. This one is actually quite cute. I do like the color a lot. It's this nice lavender color, has a nice deep V here, but it's not too much, uh, especially for my small chest, it works fine. I don't get pushed out of the cups this time around. So that's also good. <laughs> we have removable cup pads. You have an elastic under the chest. It's again more of a short line sports bar here. And then you have some thicker straps that go across your traps here. And then they split up in the back for on one side, <laughs> on this one here. So you have like two straps, uh, cause you can already see that this basically divides into two straps here already. So you have those two straps coming in from here, crossing your back, and then you have the thicker strap crossing your back as well. So it's a little asymmetrical, which is also kind of cute sometimes. And yeah, again, the elastic goes all the way around. Support wise, this is a solid medium support for me. So pretty good. And again, I really like the color. I wish it was made from a nicer fabric, from the fabric that we saw this light blue sports bra in. But you can't have everything, I guess. I think it looks actually quite flattering on my small chest, even. Uh, we also have nice uh, coverage here on the on the side. It's not a ton, but I think it's enough. And yeah, I like the length. I think it's cute. It's a great color for spring as well. But the fabric is like, it could be better, you know? Um, I'm not sure if you can see the difference, but if I hold up the leggings and the sports bra, you can kind of see that this is more structured than this. And this is definitely like such a different fabric and it could be the same or a bit more close to this, at least in terms of softness. And it's just not. All right, we're done with sports bras, but not with tops. We have the Stride Rib Tank in the color black. This was really, really cheap with a 50% off at around 15 US dollars. I got this in a size small as well. It has white contrast stitching around the edges here. It is quite high neck. We have a wide arm cutout here, and then it's kind of just scooped in the front and in the back. So very, very simple, just like kind of little crop tank top. In the back, we have a big logo patch here in white. I feel like they could have done it in black with like white stitching on it maybe, but like this is like a massive white patch. And yes, I know they have white seam detailing here, white stitching, but this is a little much if you ask me. The fabric is quite rough as well. It's not cool to the touch or very sporty or sweat wrecking or anything. It's just ribbed, it's very, very stretchy in this direction. Not so much in, no, I mean, it's also stretching the other direction. Okay, it's stretchy. But it's it feels quite rough and structured. So not the softest fabric here either. It's 57% cotton, 38% polyester, and 5% elastane. Definitely, you can feel the cotton for sure. Um, yeah, it's just a basic tank, basic crop tank. And let's see it on. All right, and here we just have a little ribbed crop top. So I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a little bit more loose fitting. I don't think so. I think this is what it's supposed to fit like, but it's more of a, yeah, of a crop tank top made from this ripped fabric. It's a little bit more structured, a little thicker. We have white contrasting seams here. You have a higher neck and then just a little bit of coverage here. So you could easily wear a lot of different types of sports bras with this one. And then it kind of scoops up here and scoops back down in the back. And I think the front looks very, very similar to the back now that you, I mean, you can see the back. Um, and we have this big 
logo patch here. So, I mean, it's not super annoying, but it's still a little bit more in your face than most of their branding. It's still kind of classy. And I see why they were going for this with this type of tank top. Again, this fabric is a little bit more cottony, a little bit more textured and doesn't feel super sweat wicking. It's black, so you probably won't see the sweat too much. But of course, if you get any other color, you might. It is a little stretchy, but not too much. The seams are definitely a little more rigid. The ones under here, especially, it's not like they cut in or anything because it is a little bit more wider fitting than that. But still, you know, I expected this to be a bit more flowy, I guess. I still can move. It's not going to move around too much, but it's also not covering a ton. So just keep that in mind. It's basically like wearing a crop top just so you have to wear a sports bra underneath. I mean, I guess you don't have to. You never have to do anything, but still. Um, I like how it scoops up a little bit here, but yeah, I think it could have been just a tad longer to give a little bit more coverage because, yeah, with this length, I might as well just wear a long line sports bra and get the same effect, if that makes sense. So yeah, not the biggest fan of this. If you like the look, give it a try, but it's not a must. All right, last but not least in the top section, we have the unstoppable sweater. And I got this in two colors because I liked it on the picture. So I figured if I actually like it, I might want two colors. This is peach and this is black. Let's look at the peach one because it's always easier to see things on a lighter color. So this one is a cropped jumper with some fun detailing. We have a higher neck, which is fine. You know, gives you nice coverage. It is fleece lined on the inside. The outside is your normal sweatshirt material. We have some puffy sleeves. We have some cuffs here at the wrists. And then the most fun detail of them all basically is, um, now I'm trying to show you. We have like a little bit of a cuff here at the bottom as well, but it's kind of accentuating. It's also scooping a little bit like the first sports bra did. So you have a little bit of a scoop here to accentuate the chest, but also you have the cuff here it's super soft it's like very cottony but still very soft and stretchy and you can see how it gets tighter towards the end so it's going to be a bit more form-fitting around your waist but a wider in the arms and up top here and it just looks so good on the model so yeah like i said i had to get two colors and i'm just so excited to see, see this one on i hope it is everything i wanted and let's see it on all right this jumper so cute it is so cute. I'm really, really happy. I got two colors. Let's see if I like the other color as well. And I'm also going to show you that in a bit, but it's so cute. I do like the cut of it. I like how it fits. I mean, obviously you'd have to wear it with a high-waisted pair of jeans or leggings or whatever, but I think it also works as a lifestyle top. It's fleece lined on the inside. So like super soft and cozy. And um, we have like these more puffy sleeves. They're a little oversized. They're a little puffy, a little dramatic. We do have our cuffs here at the bottom. And then you have a little seam here that's kind of contouring your chest and just a cuff here. That cuff sits quite, uh, well, I don't want to say it's quite tight, but it's like more of a tighter fit, still comfortable. Um, and like it meets your your body in a good spot and then there's still a little bit of skin and then the pair, uh, high waisted pair of leggings if we were to wear one. Of course, you could also, you know, show off your belly button if you wanted to. Um, I saw that kids these days wear low waisted jeans again. Why? I don't know. But, you know, if that's your jam, that's absolutely great for you. I just don't understand. <laughs> and then we have like a high neck here, but it's not too high. And up here, you still have a bit more of a relaxed fit until you have this cuff here at the bottom and I think it's so cute it's so flattering I like the puffy sleeves together with this more tight fitting uh, bottom here and I just think it's super cute yeah um so I mean I was excited when I saw this piece and I'm not disappointed so yeah and I mean I have it in black now I can style this with a lot of different leggings maybe as a warm-up top maybe just as a yoga top I don't know uh, maybe just as a lifestyle jumper but I think it's so cute. Like, look at these puffy sleeves. I'm just, I like it. So yeah, if you have problems, usually you like to size up in jumpers because of your arms. You really don't need to do that with this one. <laughs> there is a ton of space in the arms. Because I sometimes do size up to a medium, 
for tops just to get a little bit more space there but this is a small it fits perfectly just size according to what you need here around your waist and yeah I mean even for your chest there's still a little bit more space of course you could always size up a little bit more in this but I think it works so well because it is supposed to be a little bit tighter fitting here and I went with my size small with my waist size and that makes it work because once you start having this a little bit bigger and you're oversized like I don't know two three sizes it might be too big and kind of lose the effect it has right now so yeah but it's so cute let's see the other color all right here we have this jumping around the more peach color now you can see that seam under the chest a little bit better and the ribbed uh, cuffs here so I think it's really cute how it accentuates the chest and then again the puffy sleeves it's a really nice length if you pair it with a high waisted pair of leggings the neck that's not like super high but like high enough to give you a nice coverage and warmth and again fleece lined here of course as well in this lighter color and the back is just very simple as you can see so it's really just super cute puffy sleeves uh, even works nice in this color i think these two colors also match really nicely together i think it's uh it's very cute very uh tonal but yeah this jumper is definitely a vibe and I really really like it it's nice and soft as well even like the ripped cuffing is nice and soft because sometimes it's not if because it's it is more cottony and some of the cottony fabric we've seen so far wasn't so soft but this is actually really nice and soft fits nicely against the body and just accentuates the curves and the waist and makes your body look good and it's it's nice and comfy All right, are you guys ready for leggings? Because I know leggings are very, very important. Usually I put more emphasis on the perfect legging than on the perfect sports bra, especially because for me with my small chest, it doesn't take that much for a sports bra to be perfect enough, you know? <laughs> um, yes, but leggings are a different story. I have a small waist and a bigger butt. It's not always easy to find leggings that fit perfectly. And let's see if Rider Wear makes the perfect leggings for my body type. We start with a color that might be a little risky with, for someone with my uh, light skin tone. But we have the Unstoppable High Waisted Scrunch Leggings in peach here. So this peach color matches some of the other colors we've seen already in the tops. Um, that's kind of why I got it. We do have a high waist here. We do also have a front seam. I think most of the right wear leggings that are not seamless do have front seams. So not all of their stuff might be your jam if you do not like front seams. I personally don't mind front seams as long as they don't cut into my bits. And usually they don't do that, so yeah. We have a right over logo here in the front now. I feel like the waist, back of the waistband would be a better place for it. But lo and behold, of course, in the back of the waistband we still have the logo with the scripture as well there. So that's a little bit much for me. Why does it need to be there and there with their name, you know? We'll see. Um, yeah. No side seams, and then in the back we do have this little scrunch. It's an elastic scrunch, so at least there's that. But it's it's a very intense one. I'm not sure if that's one of those that you might still see when you have it on. I'm not a big fan of those. I like the ones that kind of stretch out a little bit when you put them on, like from the Gymshark Whitney Simmons collections, and it disappears basically. But it still shapes the, the glutes a little bit differently than if it was just normal leggings with a normal seam in the back but this might be a little much. Fabric is also not my favorite. It, it looks soft, but it is quite rough. Very, very cottony. Like, why does this feel so cottony? It's not an elastane. I don't know, it just feels cottony. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be sweat wicking at all. Um, it's, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't feel like a workout legging to me. I don't know, I'm not a big fan. But uh, yeah, let's see it on. All right, onto these leggings. I know it's a little bit of a um, tricky color sometimes if you have a very light skin like I do. I think it still works. Also, it's winter now. I haven't seen the sun in months, basically. Um, this part of my body definitely hasn't seen the sun in months. And uh, it's a little close to the skin tone. Definitely the same kind of you, but <laughs> it's fine. I still think you can tell that I'm wearing leggings. And also, like I said, in summer, it's gonna be a nice color if you have a bit of a darker skin tone. I think this could re look really cute, but I do not like this legging fabric. So that, that's one of the things I don't like about it. It's very cottony. I mean, stretchy, 
it keeps you tucked in. There's a little bit of gaping at the waistband, but it's not like the end of the world. No top seam here. It fits quite comfortably there. We do have a front seam. I don't have an issue with this front seam. We do have a Rider Wear logo here in the front. Sits nice and high-waisted, so no problems there, but the fabric is very, very rough. It's very cottony. If you would sweat in this, you definitely see it and it would take a while to dry. That's what the fabric feels like at least. And as I mentioned, as I already said, it's a super rough fabric. So it's not soft. It's not sleek. It's, it's nothing what I want. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't always have to have a very soft legging. I don't always have to have a sleek legging. I don't always have to have a brushed legging. But this is, I don't know, feels like Forever 21 four dollar legging material double double lined i think M maybe not double lined but definitely thicker than those but that it still feels like that and then we have this weird scrunch here in the back that just sits on top of your butt and it just doesn't do anything because it just sits there it looks a little weird we do have a nice v here in the back as well and i would have preferred just to have the v and then no, no scrunch there. We also have another logo here in the back as well. Lengthwise, these are a 7 8 length on me. A little wide around the ankles, but it's not gaping. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine. If something is too light or, or too low, like not tight enough around my ankles, I do get a little eh. And generally that means the leggings are a little big. I would say I could have probably sized down to a size small, but the medium is fine. And like I said, this fabric is just... It just doesn't feel like it's meant to be worked out in, basically. So that's a little unfortunate because I think this look together works. It looks quite cute. It's just not... Yeah, it just doesn't feel great enough for me to be like, yeah, I want to keep this, you know? All right, next up we have a seamless legging. I think this might be the only seamless legging I got from them. I kind of just picked things that I was interested in. We do have, where's the front and where's the back? That's hard to tell with this one. Oh, the logo's here, so this is the front. <laughs> All right, so these are the Circuit Rip Seamless High-Waisted Leggings in Dusty Red. Very pretty color. It's not quite red, but also not quite pink. So Dusty Red, I guess, fits quite good. Um, yeah, these are seamless legging. We have a ripped waistband here at the top. No front seam and also no seam in the back while we do have some slight V glute detailing, which I actually think is quite good. I like that. I always like slight glute detailing. Uh, also on seamless leggings. And yeah, we have the right over logo here in the front. It kind of looks a little sad because it's on this ripped fabric. Um, it's maybe not the perfect thing to put it there. I don't know. Yeah, I get it though. They want to have their logo somewhere. And we do have an interesting structure to these. So, you can kind of see how the, the ribs kind of go diagonally in the front, but also in the back. So you don't really have a seam here in the back. I wish they had put an actual seam there to give you more glute separation. But you see the, how the seams kind of, or the ribbed detailing comes in di diagonally to at least give you the illusion of there being some separation. The fabric is super soft. Very, very stretchy too. Very, very stretchy. Very, very soft. A little thicker, but not annoyingly thick. I really like how this fabric feels. I will say that. After the other leggings, these ones seem to be a bit more promising. Let's see them on. All right, onto these leggings. They are a soft, seamless, like really, really nice and soft. You have a little bit of structure and a ripped waistband here. So the waistband is ripped, like I just said. And then you have the structure that goes a little bit more diagonal. So like that kind of like a triangle. 
and we do have a right over logo here i'm not sure how they managed to get that on there but it doesn't look very pretty <laughs> if you look at it in detail i'm not sure if you can see it but like it, because of the structure of the fabric they had a hard time with that for sure i think um the legs are nice and high-waisted we do have a little bit of a v glute uh, detailing here in the back but not really a back seam so you just have that triangular um, or diagonal seam detailing kind of that goes into you know that area to enhance the glutes a little bit but it's not really too much I wish they would have put like a proper seam there with that triangular uh, with that big glute detailing I think that could have given good glute separation just with the seam and per se I really don't mind having seams in the back it just helps with the separation without being too invasive and without being too in your face so I would have I would have appreciated that and then lengthwise these are 7 8 length on me I think there's a little bit of extra space so maybe I could have sized down uh, since I'm in between sizes uh, I went up now because I didn't know this brand yet but I feel like I could have sized down like they are I feel like if I run enough they're gonna slide down a little bit on me yes the waistband gives you a little bit of compression but it's not a ton right now it's also not necessarily gaping because the fabric is nice and soft and kind of just gets you know to your body it kind of molds a little bit to it but I still feel like you could have probably you could probably size down if you're in between uh, I do like the color a lot though. I think it's a really, really nice color. Not quite red, not quite pink. A little bit of a, you know, mixture there. And it's cute. All right, we have some more scrunch leggings because one wasn't enough. They do have a lot of scrunch leggings, you know. Um, these are the Momentum Crossover scrunch leggings in the color clay. So in case you're wondering how clay looks compared to that dusty red we saw before, because they do seem have to have a similar vibe, but they're not similar at all. This is a lot more orange, so the clay is a lot more orange. Dusty red is definitely a lot more reddish pink, just so you know. Um, these have a cross waist, but otherwise they do remind me a lot of those first peach leggings that we saw those unstoppable leggings the fabric is the same to me it feels like the exact same i think it is the exact same so unfortunately not the greatest fabric it feels quite rough not super soft not very sweat wicking just not a performance legging or not a workout legging at all for me like this i don't want my workout legs to feel that way the front seam is slightly different it's a little bit of a different seam you know how that how they did it but it's still we still have a front seam here you do have the cross waist there's no top seam on the cross waist it seems to be a good height as well then you also do have the rider wear logo here in the front but also in the bag with the rider wear scripture and we do have that same seam again so i don't really have high hopes for it i mean at least it's flexible and like not too annoying but it's just also kind of looks a little wonky you know if you look at it it's like kind of like just go doing zigzag lines so uh yeah i don't have high hopes for these no side seams though that's at least good um but yeah let's just see them on okay onto the cross waist leggings these when you if you remember the peach leggings these are basically the same thing just with a cross waist i guess because we also have this weird scrunch situation here in the bag the scrunch that doesn't really move 
uh, anywhere. It just sits there. It's a little weird. Not your Gymshark butthole scrunch, but you know, still there and looks a little weird. We do have that V glute detailing as well with that Rider Wear logo here in the back. And again, I think they could have just done a simple seam in the back and I would have been happy enough with it. No top seam high waisted enough. Yes, on the lowest point where the legging waistband crisscrosses, you can see my belly button, but I do have a relatively long torso, so just keep that in mind. The band folds over. I still feel nicely tucked in. We do have a front seam. I don't really notice this front seam too much. I think it's fine. Lengthwise, these are a 7 8 length on me and the fabric, same as with its, with this top here and with most of the other stuff I've seen so far, it's, it's more cottony, like definitely doesn't feel sweat wicking or really high performance and not soft. So it's not the material I want on my leggings for sure. And that together with the, with the weird scrunch, that's not really accentuating um, my glutes. Maybe it works for other people, but it's not really doing anything for me. Um, yeah, I don't really like these. I do like the shape of them. So if they were in a very different fabric without the scrunch, I think they could be really nice, but it's just, I don't know, the fabric and the scrunch are just like, yeah, no, thank you. All right, only one more leggings to go. And this is baby blue color. And these are the Naked Arch leggings. These are the fabric that I liked so far. So this is uh, super, it's kind of sleek. I felt like the sports bra felt a little bit more brushed, but this definitely feels quite sleek, but still very, very soft. These definitely feel like a legging you are intended to work out in. Very stretchy, but still having some compression. Again, a front seam, high waist, and then in the back, we do not have a booty scrunch. Nope. We just have a simple V glue detailing and an actual seam in the back. See, that's what I want from a leg. Very, very simple. No side seams here. Again, same thing what we saw in most leggings here with the right over logo and the right over scripture. And then in the front, you have that right over logo again. But these are super pretty color. No top seam either. And yeah, the fabric feels really good. Let's see these on. I'm excited. Okay, onto these leggings. I would say that these are the softest so far that I've tried on, but I also feel like there is the, the least amount of compression in the waistband, surprisingly, even compared to those seamless leggings that I had in this pinkish reddish color. These feel so low compression in the waistband, like, and they kind of dip lower here for me. So they come down because they don't compress me. It's a little annoying and unfortunate because as I like, as I said, the fabric is actually quite nice. It's, sleek and soft, more of a naked feel. Um, and then we do have this white waistband. You do have a front seam. I honestly don't really think I have a problem with the front seam right now. Seven eighth length on me. And then you do have a little tonal right, right away logo here as well. And a V in the back, but no scrunch. So basically what I asked from the other leggings to just have that glute uh, detailing and have a proper seam here in the back. No scrunch, no no fuss, just very simple. Um, but yeah, unfortunately it just comes low here cause it's not compressing me at all. Like I feel like it's, there's just like a little bit comp of compression missing, but it is quite okay around the butt thigh area. So I'm not sure if I should have sized down to get that compression in the waistband or if it is just something that doesn't work for someone like me with a small waist and a bigger butt. That is possible, it sometimes happens. Um, but yeah, I definitely would try a size small if you're in between 
and it is because of your waist. So I would try to size for the waist and see if that fits better. Um, because the fabric is actually, like I said, quite nice if you get it on a good sale and the color is also pretty stunning. Probably not very squat proof, but you know, we know how it goes with lighter colors. So yeah, very lightweight as well, very stretchy. Probably also not very cellulite proof, um, but we'll see all of that in the squat test. All right, it's conclusion time. My absolute favorite pieces, the unstoppable sweaters. They're so cute. The dramatic like puff sleeves and the cut and how it accentuates your waist. Are you kidding? I like these a lot and they're so soft on the inside because they're fleece lined. So yeah, I will definitely be keeping these two. I really, really, really like them. And I mean, I got them uh, at 50% off which is pretty good. I don't know if they're still 50% off. I don't think so because the sale was ending soon, but maybe they're like some other brands that usually have sales going on. So I would just wait, but these really, really good. I'm not sure if they're worth the full price, but at 50% off, I think I paid around 30 bucks US. Pretty good. And it's so cute. Very unique too. I don't think I've ever seen someone do a, a jumper like that. So yeah, very, very soft on the inside. So cozy and just looks so great uh, on the, on the waist. And the puff sleeves, like I said, the puff sleeves. Um, but yeah, these are my top picks for the unstoppable sweater. In case you're wondering, I also did like the, the print. I thought I thought that the sports bra looked cute, but it just didn't fit so good. Um, I liked this one a lot because of the nice V, but again, the fabric's not my favorite. And I thought this one was super cute and unique. Maybe I should have tried it as well with like adjusting the knot, like I showed you in the, when I talked about it. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be to adjust it, but maybe I should try that a little bit more vigorously um, and see. Yeah, I don't know. Cute design. Very cute design. But yeah, if for me, the only must have really is that unstoppable sweater. So the other pieces, yeah, I'm definitely going to send most of this back, especially the leggings. I wasn't 100 percent on the seamless legging was my favorite of them all. So the this one and that dusty uh, red. It just felt best. The fabric felt really, really nice, but it was a little big, I think. Yeah. Would I order from Rider Wear again? I think so. I think I would give them another chance, especially because I like the unstoppable sweater so much. So if I think something looks cute, I would definitely try it out again. And also, especially because the duties and taxes are prepaid, shipping to the EU, I think shipping was free because I ordered over a certain amount. I can actually quickly check and yeah, shipping was free. And like I said, returns are also pretty cheap, at least, and pretty easy because they have a returns portal and everything. So, you know, then it's actually pretty good. You can try it out, see if you like it. You'll probably find a piece or two that you actually want to keep because some of their stuff is actually quite cute. Some of it is also very hideous, <laughs> to be fair. Do you remember these honeycomb leggings that were like advertised on Amazon as the butt scrunch leggings, the booty lifting leggings? They have a lot of these. And I'm not saying that they just drop ship them. They probably try to improve them a little, but it's just not my look. I'm going to insert a picture here, you know. Maybe you like these. That's great for you, but it, for me, it's just not my look. But yeah, there was definitely some cute things in there. Some really, really fun colors too. Some of it was actually sold out in my size as well. I actually meant to get a lavender legging too, but there was nothing available in my size. So I think sometimes they do sell out of stuff, but definitely not as fast as Buff Bunny would. You know, it's not like, oh, they launched something and then pff, it's gone. Definitely not, but yeah, I think I would definitely try them again. Let me know if you have bought from Rider River before and what you thought, or if you're interested, let me know what you thought about the pieces, which one was your favorite. 
Um, yeah, leave everything in the comments down below. I ha I'm happy to discuss activewear at all times. It's fun. If you uh, have any feedback or any suggestions for new brands as well, let me know in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, you can also DM me on Instagram and follow me there. Be aware that I'm way more likely to see your comments here on YouTube though than your Instagram DM. So yeah, if you really want to get something to me, drop it down here and I'll, I'll see it. All right. If you haven't yet, and if you like this video, give it your thumbs up. And also, if you haven't yet, do subscribe to my channel so you can get notified about all the new upcoming videos. There's a lot of fun things planned. For sure, you don't want to miss it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.